How to Spend 5 Days in Varadero, Cuba Are you ready for the vacation of a lifetime? I'm going to show you how to spend 5 days in the tropical paradise of Varadero, Cuba. The perfect spot for some sun, sand, and relaxation. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And I'm here today to share all my tips and advice on how to make the most of your 5-day stay in Varadero. From picturesque beaches to delicious restaurants, there's something for everyone in this beachside resort town. In this video, I'll be taking you through all the must-do activities that will make your trip one to remember. So grab your sunglasses and buckle up, we're going on an adventure. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Day 1 Beaches and Water Sports Welcome to Varadero, Cuba, a beautiful destination known for its stunning beaches and crystal clear waters. Today, we recommend spending the day exploring the best beaches in Varadero and enjoying some water sports and activities. Playa Coral Start your day by exploring Playa Coral, a popular spot for snorkeling and diving. This beach is located 6 kilometers from the town center and features a coral reef with a variety of marine life like tropical fish, lobsters, and more. It is an ideal location for those who love snorkeling and the crystal clear waters provide excellent visibility. There are also a few diving centers along the coast where you can rent equipment. Varadero Beach After Playa Coral, head towards Varadero Beach, one of the most popular and largest beaches in the area. The azure blue waters and white sandy beaches stretch out more than 20 kilometers and it is the perfect location for relaxation and sunbathing. There are a plethora of water activities available here, including windsurfing, parasailing, jet skiing and more. Playa de las Americas Next, explore Playa de las Americas, a relatively secluded beach with turquoise water and soft sand. The water here is shallow and it is an excellent location for swimming with a designated swimming area monitored by lifeguards. Visitors can also rent umbrellas, sun loungers and even motorcycles here. Tips and Recommendations Carry sunblock and wear a hat as the sun in Cuba can be very strong. Stay hydrated and carry plenty of water with you. Respect the environment and dispose of trash properly. Remember to bring a snorkel or rent one if you plan on exploring the reefs at Playa Coral. We hope you have an incredible time exploring the beautiful beaches of Varadero and enjoying the water sports activities. Do not miss out the opportunity to rent a speedboat from Aqualife Varadero and discover hidden parts of the Caribbean. Day 2 Learn about Cuban culture by visiting the Cienfuegos Museum and the local rum factory. Cienfuegos is a coastal city in Cuba that is bursting with history and culture. Today, we invite you to explore the city's rich past by visiting the Cienfuegos Museum and the local rum factory. Getting to Cienfuegos The best way to reach Cienfuegos is to take a bus from Havana. The journey usually takes about 4 to 5 hours and it is a fantastic opportunity to see the beautiful countryside of Cuba. You can also hire a taxi to take you to Cienfuegos directly from Havana, which will take about 3 hours. Cienfuegos Museum Begin your day by visiting the Cienfuegos Museum, located in the center of the city. The museum is housed in an old sugar mill that was converted into a museum in the 1950s. It features unique exhibits that showcase the city's history and culture, including its colonial past and its place in the Cuban Revolution. The museum also has a beautiful garden which is a great spot to relax and enjoy the view. Local Rum Factory After the museum, head to the local rum factory located on the outskirts of the city. The factory is one of the oldest in Cuba and is famous for its unique rum-making process. Visitors can take a tour of the factory to learn about the rum-making process and sample some of the best rum in Cuba. The factory also has a shop where visitors can purchase rum to take home. Cuban Souvenirs 
end your day by visiting the local markets and shops, which are known for their unique Cuban products. There are plenty of shops that sell handcrafted items like cigars, music records, and paintings. Rum and coffee are also popular souvenirs to take back home. Cienfuegos is a city rich in history and culture, and visiting the Cienfuegos Museum and the local rum factory is a great way to explore it. Remember to take your time and enjoy the city's vibrant atmosphere and indulge in delicious Cuban cuisine. Day 3 Relax in one of Varadero's famous spas or swimming pools. After two days of exploring Varadero's beautiful beaches and bustling streets, it's finally time to take a break and indulge in some relaxation. Look no further than these top-rated spas and swimming pools that offer the perfect blend of rest and relaxation. Melia Varadero Spa Located inside the Melia Varadero Resort, the Melia Varadero Spa offers a tranquil oasis for visitors looking to escape the hustle and bustle of Varadero. The spa features a variety of treatments from massages to facial and body scrubs. The highlight of the spa is the hydrothermal circuit which includes a sauna, steam room, cold plunge pool and jacuzzi. The spa also features a beautiful swimming pool in a sun terrace where visitors can enjoy drinks and snacks. Ocean Varadero El Patriarca The Ocean Varadero El Patriarca is an exclusive resort that boasts a fantastic spa and swimming pool. The spa offers a variety of treatments from massages to facial and body wraps. Guests can also indulge in the hydrotherapy circuit or relax in a sauna or steam room. The swimming pool is perfect for swimmers, featuring crystal clear water and plenty of sun loungers around the area to relax and sunbathe. Ibero Star Selection Varadero The Ibero Star Selection Varadero is an all-inclusive resort that features a beautiful spa and swimming pool. The spa offers a wide range of treatments, including massages, facials, and body scrubs. The hydrotherapy circuit is one of the best in Varadero, including a Finnish sauna, steam room, Scottish shower, jacuzzi, and ice fountain. The swimming pool in the resort is one of the largest in Varadero and stretches across the center of the property. Swimming with Dolphins Want to take relaxation to the next level? Swim with dolphins at the Dolphin Aquarium. Enjoy the unique sensation of swimming and playing with its friendly sea creatures while in a natural seawater pool. It is an experience that will stay with you for the rest of your life. Tips and Recommendations Prices for admissions, services, and sundry items vary for each location. It is best to check their website or call in advance. Most spas require prior booking, so make sure to book in advance to avoid disappointment. Some spa and swimming pools have dress codes that you must follow. Remember to carry your swimsuit, sunscreen, and a towel. With so many incredible spas and swimming pools to choose from, relaxing and unwinding in Varadero has never been easier. Choose one of these locations, book a treatment, and enjoy a day of pure relaxation. Day 4 Visit some of Cuba's natural beauties like Cayo Blanco or Las Terrazas. Cuba is a country rich in natural beauty, and day four of your visit promises to be an unforgettable experience. Today, we invite you on a journey to the stunning Cayo Blanco and Las Terrazas. Cayo Blanco is a small island located off the coast of Varadero, and it is one of the most stunning natural wonders of Cuba. The best time to visit is from November through April, when the weather is dry and pleasant. One of the most popular activities on the island is the snorkeling, where visitors can enjoy swimming alongside colorful fish and coral reefs. To reach Cayo Blanco, you can take a catamaran from the Marina Chaplin in Varadero. The catamaran journey takes about an hour and offers scenic views of the Caribbean Sea. The trip usually includes a stop at a coral reef where you can go snorkeling or participate in other water activities. There is an admission fee to enter the island which is typically included in the catamaran trip. Las Terrazas Las Terrazas, located in the Sierra del Rosario Mountains, is a biosphere reserve and one of the most extraordinary natural wonders in Cuba. The best time to visit is from December through May when the weather is cooler and dry. 
Las Terrazas showcases the beauty of the Cuban countryside with its lush green hills, crystal clear rivers, and stunning waterfalls. To access the reserve, you can take a taxi from Havana, which usually takes around 1.5 hours. There's also a bus that runs daily from Havana to Las Terrazas. Admission to the reserve is free, although some activities require a fee, like hiking, bird watching, or visiting the local coffee plantations. Off the beaten path For those who want to explore more natural wonders in Cuba, we highly recommend a visit to the Vinales Valley, home to one of the most stunning landscapes in the country. The valley features breathtaking views of mountain ranges dotted with tobacco farms, a unique caves, and flourishing flora and fauna. The best time to visit is from November to April, and activities like hiking, cycling, and horseback riding are popular. Tips and Recommendations When visiting natural wonders sites, it is always essential to respect the environment and follow the established rules and regulations. Wear comfortable shoes and clothing suitable for outdoor activities. Carry sunscreen, insect repellent, and plenty of water. Remember to carry your passport or ID when entering a natural reserve or island. These natural wonders offers a fantastic opportunities for visitors to experience the beauty of Cuba while enjoying numerous outdoor activities. Discover Cayo Blanco, Las Terrazas, and the Vinales Valley and enjoy a once-in-a-lifetime experience that combines stunning landscapes, rich cultures, and breathtaking vistas. Day 5 Head to the city center and enjoy some of its delicious foods while exploring the streets. On the fifth day of your journey, it's time to head to the heart of the city and dive into its culinary scene. Havana is Cuba's vibrant capital. Known for its rich culture, beautiful architecture, and delicious cuisine, today we invite you on a journey to explore the city's treasure and the popular food items and local delicacies. Morning – Exploring Old Havana Start your day by exploring Old Havana, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, walk along the historic streets, and take in the beautiful colonial architecture. Visit Plaza de la Catedral, one of the most stunning and historic squares in Havana, that is home to the Cathedral de San Cristobal. After a stop by El Floridita, a historic bar famously known as the birthplace of Daiquiri, where you can try their signature cocktail. Lunch, Lunch Hour Traditional Cuban Cuisine For lunch, head to La Guarida, a hidden gem that is one of the city's most famous restaurants. It is located in a beautiful colonial building and has an incredible rooftop view of the city. Try the Ropa Vieja, a delicious and flavorful Cuban beef stew served with rice and beans. Another must-try is the Arroz con Polio, a rice dish with chicken and vegetables. Afternoon – Cuban Cigars After lunch, visit a cigar factory and witness the making of some of the best cigars in the world. Popular cigar factories include Partagas and Romeo y Julieta. Enjoy a cigar or two along with a mojito, the classic Cuban cocktail traditionally made with rum, lime, mint, and sugar. Early Evening – Sunset at Malacan As the sun begins to set, Head to Malacan, a seaside avenue known for its stunning views and lively atmosphere. You can sit on a bench and watch the ocean waves or join in the vibrant street life with music, dance, and street vendors. Dinner – Family-run restaurants For dinner, head to Paladares, privately owned restaurant that serves delicious traditional Cuban cuisine. Paladar Dona Yutimia is a popular family-run restaurant located in Old Havana. Try their delicious grilled seafood or ropa vieja, a traditional Cuban dish made with a shredded beef. Remember to pair your meal with a mojito or a Cuba Libre, the classic rum and cola cocktail. Nightlife Salsa Dancing Wrap up your day by joining in on Havana's famous live music scene and try your luck with salsa dancing. Casa de la Musica is a popular venue known for its live salsa performances and attracts both local and tourists. Tips and Recommendations 
The best time to visit Old Havana is in the morning or late afternoon when the temperature is not too hot. Book a table in advance for lunch and dinner to make sure you get a spot. You can buy cigars at the factory or at the cigar shop. Just be sure to buy from an official retailer. Take a walking tour of Old Havana to learn more about the city's fascinating history and culture. Havana offers an incredible blend of rich history, culture and delicious cuisine that is sure to make your visit unforgettable. Explore the city, try the local delicacies, and experience Havana's famous lively nightlife. Enjoy your perfect day in Havana. It is no surprise why so many people visit Varadero each year, from sunbathing on its beaches to exploring its beautiful nature. Cuba has everything you need for the perfect vacation. After our five-day journey around this wonderful place, it's clear that there are a lot of options for those who want to enjoy and learn about this part of the world. We could explore music and art in the Cienfuegos Museum or try some Cuban rum in a local rum factory. We could also relax in one of the famous spas or swimming pools, or head to the city center and sample some traditional Cuban cuisine. Whatever you choose to do while in Vanadero, know that there are endless wonderful hours of fun waiting for you at every turn. So now I ask, which of these activities would you like to do in Vanadero, Cuba? Let me know. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.